just keep messing with it. I just should have stopped already. So it's probably fine. I just don't want it to not work, so I always mess with it until I get it exactly the way I like it. All right, I think we're good. So, now I'm gonna put it back on the board. Little tip, if you uh, buy a Jovi system, after you get it out of the box, uh, what you're going to want to do is kind of make some sort of, uh, like, just grab a piece of cardboard, wrap a paper towel around it, put some tape on it, uh, put it on here, on the brackets, is level with the XY table. Um, turn the upper heater on, set it maybe at three and a half or four. Uh, turn it on fast reflow and watch it burn. And make sure that circle is, you know, make a mark where your laser was and maybe make a small circle. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, you gotta calibrate basically. Uh, where the heat from the upper heater is because yeah the laser might be there but it's actually heating behind it and you know you want the center of your heat you got it the center of your heat where the laser's at whatever and you do that by kind of prying this thing up and down I mean when, even when I got this I had to push this down the upper heater down because it was kind of bent up okay so I'll shut up now. thermal couple close to the chip but I don't think it really matters how close because it's pretty even heat just get it close enough without nudging it okay 
So I am going to use the Xbox profile that came with the system. And you start this off I know you can't see it, but we started off at two and on a two and a half level two point five, and we go to our open profile profiles Xbox One Jovi, and basically you just hit run. Please confirm. Okay, I want to run it. Okay, so it starts off uh, at two and a half, at level two point five, and then at 150 degrees we raise it up to three point five, and then at 195 we raise it up to level five on the upper heater. I'll try to adjust the camera here. Now I'll just I'll try to get on the chip, but I'll let you know when I'm raising the upper heater. Maybe if I lower this, I can get into there. Alright, so you can kind of see the chip. You'll be able to see it when I raise the heater. Okay, my tape ended, so luckily I had a backup. All I had to do is switch it out real quick. Alright, so we are at 79, 80 degrees Celsius, which is now telling me. It just says running, please wait, but once we get to 150, once we get to 150, We'll raise the upper heater. We are at 132, 50. All right, now it tells me to move it up to three and a half. And this is considered the soak zone. And once we get to 195, we raise it to five, level five on the upper heater. We're at 
170. One ninety three, one ninety four, one ninety five. Now it says reflow process finished, and it turns itself off. All the heaters off, and I'm trying to match the bar graph on the. monitor and the decline on temperature while leaving the heater upper heater where it's at kind of matches it so if I know if I turn the fan on it's gonna just start going way down So we're already down to 170. I'll turn the fan on probably once it hits about 130. But you guys don't need to sit here and watch this forever. So I'm going to pause it. I am going to clean it, put it back on, put it back together and I will push the power button with the camera on and uh, hopefully it'll work. Alright, I got it all put back together. Uh, I got my laptop hooked in the back of it so if it does work we can test it out and see how the picture looks. So I'm going to hit the power button. I believe it is fixed ladies and gentlemen no more of those green lines just looks like normal static and like I said I have one upstairs and the blue looks perfect so I'm gonna try changing the source look at that it's not perfect guys she will be ec ecstatic to have her uh, TV back I'm sure and yes I'm a Bengals fan so it's my Bengals background uh, yeah that's all I have to say about that go Reds right now <laughs> so if you have any questions uh, as you can see there there's multiple systems out there that have these kinds of GPU issues um, yeah, so I mean, I can help you out. I would love for you to send me your system so I could uh, fix it for you. I have the equipment to do it. Uh, Fixmygpu.com. <laughs>